Hi everyone, it's Steph from Steph Lee Films. In today's video, I will teach you how to put the company logo and the animated lower thirds onto the screen at the same time using your A10 Mini Pro. And since we are at it, how about throwing in a timer and a ticker. So get ready for this simple and easy step-by-step -step tutorial. First of all, before I start today's video, I'd like to take a minute to thank everyone who has liked and commented on all my videos so far. You know who you are. And those who have subscribed to my channel because that is what keeps me going and spending hours every video to produce informational, useful and high quality content for you guys. For those who are here for the first time, my name is Steph and I run a production company here in Singapore for the past 12 years, specializing in weddings and corporate content creation. Occasionally, I do unboxing videos and first look at the latest equipment in the market. I started focusing on building my YouTube channel since the circuit breaker started here in Singapore last month and so far I've gotten about 150 subscribers and more than 8,000 views on all my videos so thank you all so much for showing interest in this channel. Hopefully you can learn something from one of the videos I create along the way. Alright, let's get back to the topic of this video. So far I've talked about using the chroma key as an upstream key for your green screen and a downstream key to punch in the animated lower thirds and company logo. Okay, so here comes the ultimate question. How do you put both the company logo and the animated lower thirds onto the screen at the same time? Is it even possible? So today in this video, I will teach you how to display your company logo and insert lower third graphics at the same time. I will also teach you how to insert a timer, usually for a countdown to the start of your live stream, as well as a ticker in case you need to highlight certain news or information during your presentation. Before I get all tacky, let me do a simple illustration of how this is going to work out. Just imagine three layers of graphics, the company logo, the animated lower third, and the view from camera one, which is the camera doing the live stream. First, we are going to put our company logo on the chroma key. Then we're going to put our animated lower thirds on the downstream key. And finally, our main camera, which is showing the live stream. Then we're going to put these three layers on top of each other. And that is how the live stream will be able to show the person talking, the company logo and the lower thirds. I will not go into teaching you how to create PNG images for the downstream key because that was already covered in my last video here. So I assume that you already have some knowledge on the downstream key and how to punch in the animated lower thirds. So let's move on to creating the company logo as a chroma key. First of all, we have to download a free software called H2R Graphics. I will put the link in the description below so you can do a direct download from there. Once you have downloaded and installed the app, you will see this interface. Big shout out to the creators of this app here to record. Okay, what I love about this software is that it is amazingly simple and straightforward. There's no complicated buttons or algorithm or steep learning curves. What you see is what you get. So for our video today, I'm just going to talk about the chroma button, the logo, timer and ticker button. For the rest of the buttons, you can pretty much figure it out yourself. Next, we need to connect the A10 Mini Pro to the laptop using the Ethernet cable and adapter. Connect one of the ports to your laptop using the HDMI cable. As I've mentioned before, I usually use port 4 for laptop connection. Once connected, you can see from the multi view here your laptop view on HDMI 4. Click on logo and select your company logo here by choosing the PNG file. You will see a small preview here immediately after you click open. Okay, the next step is pretty crucial, so please listen carefully. You need to make sure your laptop is able to display extended graphics. So on the Mac, click on settings, display. This arrangement tab will only be shown if you connect a HDMI cable from your laptop to the A10 Mini Pro. Uncheck show mirroring options in the menu bar when available. Go back to your H2R graphics app and click on the green chroma button. There will be a green chroma window that pops out. Click show and you can see your logo appearing on top of the green screen. Then drag this chroma window to the A10 Mini Pro like this. Out of the screen and into the A10 Mini Pro display. Then click command F for Mac and control F for Windows to toggle full screen. Okay, then we go back to ATEM software control, click
click on upstream key one and chroma. Make sure your fuel source is the one that is connected to your laptop. In our case, it's camera four. Now for the final David Copperfield green screen disappearing act. Click on the key button on the console or the on air button on the ATEM software control. Either way works. So now we have our logo permanently displayed on the top right throughout our stream. As for the timer button, you can choose the timer type here and set how long it's going to count down to. The options here allow you to change the text color and the background color. You can also add a pre-timer message and other easy to understand options here. Like I said earlier, these guys who created the software knows exactly what we all need. For the ticker button, there are some simple options you can change. First is the title and then the text that you want to put on your ticker. You can also add another text by clicking add here. Again, the options menu is pretty straightforward, so I won't be going into detail what it can do. You can pretty much play around and set it to your liking. Okay, so now the question is, since there's a lower third option on the H2R graphics software, why not just use everything on the H2R graphics software? The reason here is very simple. In live streaming, the last thing you will want is to handle many apps or programs at the same time, especially due to the fact that so many things can happen during live stream that may potentially cock up the whole show. Hardware problems, internet connection, software problems, just too many to name. That is why I always keep certain graphics constant and once it is running, I don't want to deal with it until the end of the live stream. For example, the company logo. Cause whatever you do, the company logo will likely be there throughout the entire stream. So far, I've never had a client who needed the logo to be taken down halfway through the stream. And the timer. The timer just needs to be there 5 or 10 minutes before the start of the stream and once you start the timer, you will never touch the timer button again. As for the ticker, it's very specific to the client's requirement and again, usually the content is not dynamic, meaning you already have keyed in all the necessary information for it to run constantly at the bottom of the screen. So okay, now we come back to the downstream key. Again, I've shown you in the previous video how we can use the downstream key to punch in animated lower thirds like pictures of cameras, subscribe buttons, like buttons, and so many other options and choices during different parts of the stream. You will want to be paying more attention to this area. That is the reason why we are all using the A10 Mini Pro, right? With H2R graphics handling everything else, all you need to do is just focus on punching in the lower thirds at the right time. So there you have it. I hope this video has given you a good idea of how we can put both the company logo and the animated lower thirds onto the screen at the same time, as well as adding a professional looking timer and ticker onto your broadcast or live stream. Before I end this video, I'd like to say that it really means a lot to me if you found the information useful and you can give this video a like or share it so it encourages me to continue making such videos for you. If you want to learn more about photography and videography on this channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell. And as always, if you have any questions, please let me know.